My name is Swareda and I met my wonderful husband Cornelius through a friend of mine called Rose. Me and Rose were talking and Cornelius went and took the phone, injected Rose, the phone from Rose. So he said, oh, fun, yeah, hello, this is the dash So this is my name, I want your number and I want to be talking to you. So I said, well, you don't really know me like that, you want to be talking to me. So what's your name? I said, my name is Miata. He said, oh, you're Miata, they be calling all the time, I want to talk to you, you don't want to talk to me on the phone. <laughs> So I went, I gave him my cell phone number. He called me 10 times a day. Leave a whole lot of terrible messages, but I'm not calling him back. So I called him, I love him every day, and he leave leaving messages on my phone. He said, God, no, you listen to him, I'm going to call me right back. And then he called my husband. And my brother picked up the phone. And my brother called me, he said, Can I talk to Miata? My brother said, Oh, no, Miata lives in the place. And I came running from him upstairs to get the phone. <laughs> right now, but I got the phone. I'm like, oh yeah, this is me. He said, oh, my brother said, no, me. I said, my brother, I know what he's talking about. Then we started talking three months passed. And one day, he called me on the phone before the three months, anyway. He called me on the phone. I put the phone speaker in our dad's room. It was me, my older sister, my late sister. So he started to explain. He said, oh, me, yeah, you know, already, yeah, but me, Rose already told you everything about me. I'm very useless. I left with my baby. And I got my five year old daughter. You know, in a long relationship with my baby mom, but then she frustrated me, so that's why I've been acting like that with women. But now, like, I'm a bad person. Then my sister just then I said, Oh, the boys are very nice, but about men, they just tell you everything. But then, either you like it and take it, or you like it, you leave it. Since then, me and Connor started talking. Connor came to Philadelphia to see me. Go in the car, went to the cousin's house. So, went in the room, he started to sit on the bed and said, Oh, come here, I'm not coming here, I don't even want you. Me and my ex-boyfriend is back together. You see the ring on my neck, I'm already engaged to him. So you better pack your bag and go back where you came from. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to go right back there. And then he said, like, hey, I think ready, ready, red. My name is Cornelius. Um, I think she pretty much said everything. My little trick that I put on after she came in the room, I mean, when she said her boyfriend, she and her boyfriend back together, blah, blah, blah. So I just... He started to get still quiet. So the way I read it, they come and smoking something. <laughs> and pretending that I'm sick. So that she got to be sorry for me. Talk to me. <laughs> so from my point of view, that's how I mean for you to be there. Something I left out. When she got in that mood, that she, I mean, telling me her boyfriend, first of all, I asked myself, if they get don't love you, I mean, she only like pick up your phone call, make you to come over here. And she saw my picture, and now her friends don't see me. So maybe she want to know the kind of person I am. That's why she's doing all this. So I would just take him again, my game, my game, and see what happened. She came on step, and then love started flowing. That's how I met my beautiful chocolate pot, sunflower, <laughs> and my pretty wife. I'm proud today to call her my wife. One thing I like about Cadillus, he's a very, very nice, wonderful person. On the body time, Cadillus went and bought me a spirit, a very nice spirit too from Victoria's Secret. And you can't go to Victoria's Secret and get it saying, like, if I go, people think I'm gay or something, people think I'm going by a brand for myself. So when he came home, I was mad, like, Cadillus, what you got me for Valentine? You got me nothing for Valentine? Like, yeah, I ain't getting anything for Valentine. He had a spirit in the drawer, in his drawer, the clothes drawer. So he took out the empty box and gave me the empty box. He said, Well, this girl, I was looking for the buy for you, but I couldn't see the spirit. He said, Because what do I go buy you flower? You're going to say you left flower, now they can't be on the flower. So I only bought you the card here. So I read the card. So for the card, sweet anyway, thanks anyway for everything. And we came in the living room to sit down. Then he brought the, the spirit. So I bought the spirit for you for the rest of the day. Yeah, happy, happy about it. <laughs> I mean, what I really like about this girl. Um, you know if the person care or the person love you when they talk now. I'm the only one working. So now she will sit down and look at me and start crying. So I'm like, why are you crying? Say, I'm not helping you. Now the 5% of out of women, they hit up, I mean hard time. And on a Valentine's Day, the most sorry for her, she wanna give me kids, but she don't have the money. So I say, God is in control, so right now. You have our two two beautiful kids. She had two by me and then I have one by my ex, baby mom, so got two kids. So our family, everything is going on well. That's why we decided to get married to make it, to make it new.
to everybody because I mean, as I'm speaking, I'm already married in a court, but I want to make it right with God. So that's why we're having a big wedding in the church that I want to be blessed by God. I'm very, very proud today to call her my wife.